I want to share a story with you that illustrates my idea of setting intention. So when we get clear, um, set our intentions, we're basically putting um, this energy out into the universe and asking God, our guides, the universe, to bring us what we want and what we need. For me, to stay balanced on a mind-body-spirit level, I need to be rested and I need adequate alone time, okay? Um, I have a very big life. I have a husband and um, extended family, as most of us do, and I have a big job. And with that job comes all the dead people that cling on my energy. So I'm a natural introvert, and introverts recharge by being alone. For me especially, that means being near water. I know from a past life, I've lived in Hawaii. Hawaii has always been my spiritual home, my heaven on earth. Unfortunately, for so many reasons, I don't get many opportunities to go to Hawaii. So I find ways to make do, meaning my first intention is to get to the ocean when I need some real serious R&R. And if that can happen, then I take a salt bath, okay? Um, yes, this is my mermaid past life where I just really cleanse and recharge with salt water. So the other day, I hit a breaking point. I was just in, caught up in this frenetic energy. I was not centered. I was very imbalanced. And I needed to shift gears pretty quick because I needed to go and be of service to my clients. I prayed and I meditated and I put it out there and I got real clear with God and my guides. We had a heart to heart and every time I have a heart to heart with them, the universe responds. So I got clear that I needed some form of vacation on some of the alone time. And for me, being with my husband pretty much is alone time. We help each other to shift and he lifts my energy. He does not deplete or drain me. And so he was included in this intention. I just put it out there and I was praying big and I said, um, I want to go to Hawaii. So if there's any way to make that possible, because on paper, that is absolutely not happening. So many different reasons why. I put it out there and I just asked, bring me what's highest and best for me to be my highest and best self so that I can in turn show up and serve others and let it go. So fast forward to the end of my day. I'm driving home from work and I end up behind a license plate that was 628 that followed me the entire way from my office to my front doorstep. For me, 628 is my ultimate wink from above. That is my birthday. It's my power number. It's my guide's way of saying we heard you and we've got you. So then the next morning, I woke up spontaneously at 628 a.m. So again, I felt this love from above. I felt like they heard me and that somehow they were going to find a way to get me the R&R &R that I needed. A few hours later, my husband called me and he shares with me that he had been invited last minute to speak next month in Maui, Hawaii and asked if I wanted to go and perhaps build some work around it. That for me was such an answered prayer 24 hours later, not even, that I put out the intention specifically my heaven on earth. And look at how the universe responded. And not in a million years did I ever think it would come in that form, that way. Um, which just goes to illustrate, we don't need to know the details. We just need to know what and why. What do you want and why? What's your intention behind it? And give the details to God and your guides, okay? The icing on the cake was 24 hours after that. My office staff had bought me this amazing birthday gift. One of the um, my assistant's husband, he's an artist, and I gave him pictures of my heaven on earth, Maui, Hawaii. And he delivered that next day the final product. It just so happened to line up again back to back to this miracle that came from my guides. It was their final uh, wink at me, reminding me at the divine timing and order and orchestration that is always going on in our lives. So I just wanted to share that with you because I would encourage you as well, whatever it is you need to be your highest and best self, right? To find balance mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Get clear, put it out there, what and why, let go of the details, and trust 
that the universe will respond when it's the right timing and in the divinely perfect right way. As always, I am wishing you brightest blessings and all love.